Five, four, three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Good morning. It's not my birthday anymore. They're watching this on Tuesday. That's boring. So today is Monday the 11th, my birthday, but by the time you're watching this... Happy belated birthday. It's the 12th. Uh, so good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Hopefully you had a good night, because it's morning. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, we are here. I... Um, we spent time with my parents. My mom made lunch. I worked, and I then after you picked me up, and we went over there. My mom made meatloaf, which is my favorite. And your dad made fish. And my dad made fish. Bam! Double whammy. Mm -hmm. My brothers showed up, except Steve. He was at work, I believe. <clears throat> so, but yeah, we hung out there for a couple hours. Came back home. Mailed. The, the soldier painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Um, went to Safeway. Came home. Yep. Yeah. So guys, we're going to, we are going to keep this one short because it's still, it's still my birthday. So I just said, I want to watch Netflix. Yeah. We're going to watch a little... A little bit Mandalorian? Yeah. And, and then I just finished making you a, a cheese platter. Yeah. And Cobra Kai! <laughs> <coughs> oh, ow! <laughs> so... Yeah. <clears throat> and then yeah. I'm going to make them... I'm going to make them some meat. I'm going to make you a steak tonight. You deserve a steak for your birthday. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. I made them a nice little cheese platter. With I'm full of cheese now. I know. I don't even feel. I don't feel like eating no oh, more. Oh, I, I want to eat. You still want? Darn it! I have to go. I will want to eat right now. I'm full of cheese. <laughs> Alex is like, oh man. I know. I made a really cute <coughs> cheese platter. You want to see oh, my I'll cheese platter? I put it on there. Oh yeah. On editing me. Why? Can I just show it here? It's Why not gonna... gonna be the same. I want their mouth to water. No. You don't? No, because then they're gonna get hungry. Look. See, I made him a nice little cheese platter. Hmm. It's still mostly there. Most of it, I can't. Fit I on know. That. Had... I got scared. I'm like, you want me to eat this whole thing? <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> and after, and I'm like, he looked at me and like, if I meant for him to eat it all, and I'm like, no, you silly. <clears throat> and I said, I just, I just wanted to present something really beautiful and nice to you, you know. And he's like. Mm. Oh, he goes, I got really scared. <laughs> he was like, I got really, really scared. And I said, babe, seriously, you really thought I wanted you to eat this whole thing? I said, no, I wanted to give you variety. I gave you like, I think like five or six different cheeses. I have pieces of cracker on my shirt. And then um, the other day when I, the other day when I went to, to uh, pick up the little painting from Sister Lisa, um sister lisa had given me some crackers and then some cheese yeah. too so it kind of gave me the idea because we had some cheese and then i had bought you know a little a little trio pack of cheese a small little pack right now at safeway and lisa gave me some cheese and some some really nice crackers and then we had leftover crackers that um alex had given us oh, yeah. <laughs> and then i bought a can of olives <laughs> the other day and i was like hmm i don't eat olives though I know, but I do, but it looks pretty on there. So, and, you know, and so I was like, I'm just going to put a little, you know, since I had all these little cheeses that, you know, Alex had given us, and then I had bought a little cheese thing, I said, I'm going to throw so let's a little go down cheese the list. platter together. Munster cheese, mm -hmm. Havarti cheese, mm -hmm. Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. Cheddar. Cheddar, medium cheddar, or what's it called? Sharp cheddar. Medium sharp, sharp? Mm, it's sharp. It's medium. That one's, oh yeah, it is yeah, medium. cheddar. Mm -hmm. Pepper Jack, Monterey, mm -hmm. and I think that's it, right? No, there was... Oh, Feta. Feta. And maybe one more. Yeah, there's one more in there. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it right now, but... Yeah, there's another one in there. And then, <clears throat> oh my God, the meats. Bruschetta? Bruschetta. As, I don't know the names like Alex know. does. Alex, Alex knows all the names. Look they're, at the Alex, they're two of the ones that you that you taught us to eat. And then... I think one is a salami, and then the other one, um, I don't even know. I don't know, guys. man, but, that, but they're really good. <laughs> that that monster cheese, if you've never ate that one. It's so good. 
bomb. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, four different types of little meats there. Yeah. Um, and then two of the crackers that Alex had given us, I put on there. And then the one that Sister Lisa gave us, I put it on there. And then olives. And then, of course, I have to sprinkle it with some parsley to make it look pretty. Yeah. And then the feta. So I made a cheese platter, All right. guys. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we had to stop the video. But anyways, we're back. I'm back. I'm We're back. back. I'm back too. That was a song. Hello, Cool J said. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Mama said, knock you out. You ever heard that song? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so he says, don't call Doesn't it a comeback. Doesn't it say your daddy going to knock you out too? No. No. <laughs> what kind of version are you listening to? Mama going to knock you out. I thought your daddy going to knock you out. <laughs> He must have bought the, the ghetto mixtape in the flea market or something. I thought it kept saying people in the family are going to knock each no, other out. No, just said mama's going to knock you out. Oh, really? Wait. Yeah. It now said, you got me all confused. No, I think Mama said knock you out. Not mama's going to knock you out. <laughs> Why would a rapper say My mama's going to knock you out? Mama's going to knock you That don't even make sense. What was uh, the word that you said yesterday? I don't know. Oh, super serio. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I need to be super serio. I don't know. Something, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, guys, I didn't have. Here comes that chubby cat. She's so fat. I didn't have a, um, a Bible verse, you know, but. I know we want to enjoy Netflix. We want to um, sit down and watch some stuff. Yeah. Today. Yeah, I want to catch up on, uh, what did I say? Oh, Mandalorian and Cobra Kai. Watch a little bit of that. It's still fairly early, you know. It's about seven. Yeah, so we didn't want to not do a video. We wanted to say hello to you guys, you know. And so here we are. Hello, you know. <laughs> did we talk about the cheese stuff? I don't know. Are we going to have to talk about that? I don't know. I had to cut the video, guys, and I don't know what we said in, in that part yet. So I'm guessing we already did. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want to talk about it again. Unless you, Alex probably wants to hear about it again, but I'm sure. Alex it, dreams about cheese. I know. I think he thinks the moon is really cheese. I think so, too. Alex, is the moon cheese? He dreams about cheese. I think when he, I think when he goes to heaven, the Waterfall? streets are gonna be Waterfalls like golden of cheese. cheese. <laughs> it's gonna be golden cheese. Yeah. I think that's what's gonna happen. Oh my god. What? I just imagined the streets being golden mm. cheese. That's crazy. Well, guys, we did want to come back on here just to. Um, at least, you know, just wish you guys a good morning, like really. And just, you know, not leave you guys without a video and tell you guys that we love you and we care. We we care. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I need coffee or something, but I can't have coffee because then I will not go to sleep. We love you guys and we wish you guys a, a beautiful day. That's for sure. Yep. Yes. And I need another piece of cheese. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we, we promise we will have a really good passage to talk about tomorrow. And I'm only having Starbucks, guys. And, um, you know, we'll get a, a good subject to talk about, a good topic to talk about and read through. But this doesn't mean you can't open your Bibles right now and, and just read a passage, you know, read a passage and, and ask the Lord to, to talk to you through it and, and to show you. You know, and um, I had a sister yesterday. I think I mentioned her yesterday in um, the yesterday's uh, devotion. And she was just kind of like, she was, man, your sermon. She was, I hated history. You know, she was saying she didn't like history, you know. But I'm glad that she enjoys it when she learns it at the church, you know. And I didn't I, like history either, no? but I, I find... 
for me, I look forward to, I literally really, really look forward to when you share the history of things because I'm able to put things together into more, into better, a better perspective. Yeah. I've always thought this, I've always thought that history should be the most interesting class in high school or wherever history is taught. Um, I blame, I blame the teachers, honestly do, because history is so rich. It's people's lives. Like most popular movies are movies of people's lives because it's interesting. Yeah. Whether they're a famous singer or a revolutionary or a politician or just a regular, just true story movies. Like, don't you love watching movies that are like, you knew that it was a real life story. Yeah. yeah but see, the thing is, is that I never really, I never really never understood history in that way until I really, really like, like when you, you took me down, um, uh, you took me down in Tracy when we drove down by Carnegie member and oh, everything. Yeah. And you really, what was the story you, you were talking about? Um, yeah, Joaquin Murrieta. Yeah, Joaquin Murrieta. You were talking up when you literally took me down and you showed me the mountain area, the caves and, and all of that. And you started sharing the stories yeah. of, about Murrieta and everything. And, and you started sharing the history of all of that. Yeah. But the thing is, is that you gave me a visual. Yeah. And then you started sharing, you know, the history yeah. and the stories of, you know, of, of certain things. And it, it helped me really understand. And then you started to sh come home, you came home and you started to show me different movies and different things. And I never, I never knew about any of this stuff, yeah. you know, and it makes it really nice when you can put a visual to things. And when you're able to put visuals like the artists, when you start sharing things about yeah. the artists too, and to really put a visual to stuff, I'm a visual learner. Yeah. I need hands on or, or a visual learner. And when you, you, when you actually explain things, you explain it in a way where I can actually put a visual to it. And I actually almost feel like I can put myself in the situation or I can mm -hmm. put myself, I can picture myself being there. Yeah. And it's easy for me to visualize it. But I think, I think history is rich and it's easy. It's not a stretch to make history interesting, you know? And it's cool. Like we live right here in the central Valley guys. And, and right here in the Altamont, there's these caves, um, First of all, there was this, this farmer named Joaquin Murrieta back before, like in a transition of, because California used to be Mexico, you know, and there was this this man named Joaquin, and he had his wife and his brother-in-law, his wife's brother. I think his wife's brother was younger. And cold. And Joaquin was a farmer, and um, it was, this is this, this, this is the Wild West out here back in the day. So things were a little different. Things were a little wild, you know. There was bandits. There was things that were dangerous out, you know, and. He came home one day and he found his brother-in-law hung and his wife hung on a tree and she had been raped. And it was three white men that did it. Uh, this is a regular farmer guy, you know, and that just broke his heart. I mean, his wife and his brother-in-law. And he swore that he would find the three men that did it. And basically, long story short, he became a bandit. And went around killing every white person he could find that he thought was them. And he went on a rampage. You know, so it's kind of a tragic story because it's tragic to the white men he killed that had nothing to do with it. Yeah. At the same time, it was tragic of what happened to him because it was rampant, you know. Just because Mexican people don't talk about it a lot, a lot of Mexican people were hung here in California when it was no longer Mexico anymore. A lot of them were treated very unfairly. And things like this where there was no justice for him. He had to find justice himself. So anyways, um, he hid in the caves right here out in Tracy in Corral Hollow. There's caves up there. And then in Columbia State Park where we travel, he went there too. So he used this whole area to hide in because he had a bandit. He was a bandit. He was wanted. And apparently they say, legend goes, that they found him. And they killed him, cut his head off, and put it in a jar and because he was wanted for so much murder that different cities wanted to see, wanted his death. So right here at the Civic Auditorium where the two bears are at, mm -hmm. they displayed his head there. Really? For, for some days. Here in Stockton? Yeah. 
Whoa. as an exhibition. And people would line up to see because they hated this Mexican that went around killing white men. Wow. And then I think they displayed his head in San Francisco, and I'm not sure where else, because he was very, very wanted. Um, it's tragic, man, because it's, it's horrible that he killed that many people, but it's also tragic that a regular farming man that just had his wife and his brother-in-law felt so much injustice that nobody would do anything because he was just a Mexican that he felt he had to go do that, you know, and his, his poor wife lost her life and was murdered and raped and his brother-in-law, you know. I think if the story goes, his brother-in-law was a little slow. Mm -hmm. So I think so. But anyways, you know, there's history, guys. This, this is history. Like, this is where we live. Like, we live, what, two minutes away from the Civic Auditorium? Mm -hmm. That's an old, old building. Stockton, California is, is a very old city. It's a very old city. Because of the yeah. gold, gold rush. A lot of history. Yeah. Yeah. So... I it's an old old city yeah it, i remember i remember when i when i was driving um uber as well when you were driving at the same time i remember i told you i had met an old old gentleman that mm -hmm. i had drove all the way to sacramento and then i drove him all the way back um he had been here his whole life and he was like 80 something years old and yeah. he started sharing stuff with me you know about the old old days before this was even you mm -hmm. know stocked in and he was just like, man, he goes, I, I grew up here. My grandparents grew up here, you know, yeah. and it was just all field and everything. Yeah. But um, there's a lot of history over here. Yeah. So you got to understand, we are halfway, the stock is a halfway point between the San Francisco Golden Gate, which all import used to come from back in the Western days. And where all the, the little towns in the mountains are at. You have Columbia State Park, you have Sonora, you have uh, Copperopolis. You have all these little western towns. Stockton um, is actually, from San Francisco, the bay, the bay, it breaks off into many veins of rivers. And the main one was here at the Stockton Port, which is literally down the street five mm -hmm. blocks. So all import, everything that would come into San Francisco would travel down that river to the Stockton Port. And from here, all supplies went to all those western towns. Remember we were in Columbia State Park and they have a, a Wells Fargo mm -hmm. map. Yeah. Where everything was from San Francisco to Stockton, from Stockton to everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's an old city and there's an old history here. So, And I think that, that that's why it was so important when you did do the... Um, the sermon on Sunday, this last Sunday, which was January 10th, 2021, guys, um, if you do want to go back to that one. The history of how rich that, that sermon was, it was so important oh, to see. Yeah, it was so important to see the separation and how the separation took place um, and why so many people were like, kind of like, so interested in hearing mm -hmm. why there was a separation how it happened and everything so if you never got a chance to listen to that sermon listen to that sermon from january 10th guys uh, 2021 in case you're listening to this years later or months later or whenever um they go back to that one because uh you'll you'll really learn a lot from from that sermon um i think it's a it's a great thing when you're able to really really learn the history of things yeah yeah all right guys we're yeah, gonna guys. cut it short god bless you we love you guys thanks and for huh? hanging out with us <laughs> yeah thanks for hanging out and hearing me blabber about the wild west so. yeah we'll probably we'll probably you'll probably see a little choppiness because it was at a point where my son was gonna come in through the front and then we heard him coming in through the back and everything so sorry about that guys all right love you guys have a good day bye